Hi, my name is Holly Rillinger. I'm a health and wellness coach in New York City and the creator of Lifted. This is Get Fit on Livestrong.com. I'm bringing you a challenge this month on Livestrong. We're gonna help you get fit in all kinds of ways. I'm gonna help you get stronger. I'm gonna help you with your endurance, your flexibility, and even your mindfulness. So this week I'm bringing you the dynamic warm-up. Now I get it, we all like to skip the warm-up, so I want you to think about this as just playing around. It's important to warm up because it gets your body ready for the workout. We're gonna move side to side, we're gonna move forward and backwards, we're gonna move all around, but remember, don't skip the warm-up. All right, let's go. We're gonna start from easy, and then we're gonna progress to more difficult moves. All right, we're gonna start with an easy knee grab. So just think about being buoyant here and being very agile. All we're gonna do is grab the knee and try to go up on that other toe. All right, it's all about balance too, so let's just use a straight line here. We'll grab a knee, pull it up, take three steps just to get to that other side, pull that knee up. Now notice I'm going onto my toe, so I'm really having to balance. You can even do it backwards. It's always great to test the brain to see if we can go forward and backward in a lot of movements. Now each of these exercises in the warm-up, I'm just gonna do for about 30 seconds. There's no set number that we're gonna do. But right here what I'm doing is I'm just warming up the legs, all right? Warming up the arms a little bit. It's just really easy and focusing on that balance. Now let's move the legs the other way. Now I'm gonna reach back, I'm gonna grab my ankle, I'm gonna reach up, I'm gonna balance and stretch one side of the body. And I'm gonna take those same three steps, reach up, grab the ankle, and we're getting a nice hip flexor and quad stretch here, moving forward, and then I can do that same thing, moving backward. It's okay if you lose your balance a couple times, totally normal, we're just getting started. Just taking those three steps, and if you have a lot of room, you're outside, or you have a big living room, then feel free to just use a lot of space. All right, so now we've worked up those quads, we've warmed up those hamstrings, now we're gonna get into something just a little bit more intense. We're gonna start to go with high knees. So now notice, this is very much like those knee grabs, but I'm just intensifying it a little bit. I'm, be, I'm making it a little bit more dynamic. I'm gonna start to get my heart rate up. You can even put your hands up there, give yourself a little goal here. Get those knees up. You can see I'm starting to lose my breath a little bit. That's a good thing. We're warming up. I'm using my upper body. I could even start this easy and then really start to get into a little bit more intensity. I like to say losing your breath at least a few times in every part of the workout is a good sign of working hard. All right, I've lost my breath. Now I'm gonna take that ankle grab and I'm gonna intensify it a little bit. These are called butt kicks. All right, I'm gonna put my hands back here. I'm gonna kick my heels up, tap my hands, my heels. So now that ankle grab is a little bit more dynamic. I'm gonna move forward in it. I'm gonna move backwards. Challenge my brain to move multi-directionally. Warming up my heart here. Getting a little bit out of breath. Boom, 20 to 30 seconds each one there. I'm already out of breath with this little bit of movement here. So again, don't think of it as a warm-up. Think of it as part of the workout. All right, now I used to be a professional basketball player, so you know I gotta bring some of these basketball moves into this. We're gonna get nice and low, and we're gonna move laterally. So I'm gonna slide in one direction. I'm gonna reach over, touch the ground, stay low, and I'm gonna slide back in that other direction. My arms are active, I got my hands up. Defensive move here, I'm gonna intercept the pass on defense. Staying low, notice I'm not standing up every time I switch directions. My legs are getting a nice workout here. My arms are really active moving side to side. And then you can start to pick that up and really move. Just test and see what you can do in these first few minutes of the warm up. And boom, I'm already moving laterally now. Now one more thing I'm gonna do is get a little bit of an explosive movement in this warm up. So we're gonna go skip. So remember, our, I said think of this as play. You know, kids don't think about exercises being exercised. They're just moving. They're just doing all these things. So a skip, just take it back to your inner child. Get up, your opposite hand and foot driving up. Try it backwards, it makes your brain think a little bit. It's a little bit harder to go backwards there. And then maybe you start to get a little bit of air here. Start to launch off, get a little bit higher. This is the most dynamic movement in this whole warm up. I'm gonna do just a couple more, show you my air. And boom, that's it, two to three minutes. 
I've lost my breath. I feel really warm. I've moved multi-directionally. So now I'm ready to work out. Thanks so much for joining me. Don't forget to tune in for my workouts coming up and be sure to subscribe below.